That is a sneak peek at tonight's new episode of Mars on National Geographic. The miniseries is part documentary and part science fiction. It features interviews with people working on making travel to Mars a reality. The series also has a fictional account of the first manned mission to the Red Planet in 2033. Musician and actress Ji Hay plays a set of twins. And John Grunsfeld is a former NASA astronaut and one of the show's experts. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Yeah. So, I mean, it, very interesting concept here because yeah. you're marrying the documentary with, with a Hollywood film, right? So, John, question to you first. Um, I mean, the documentary is real, but how real do you think is what we're envisioning is going to happen in 15 or 20 years? Well, it's really hard to say what we're going to do in 15 to 20 years, but what I love about this series is that it feels real. It matches, you know, the documentary side with, with experts on space exploration, people who have been in space, and a great science fiction story that draws you in, that makes you believe it can really be true, it can really happen. And it does that for me yeah. as, as a space guy. Yeah. I know, do you hear you're going like this? Uh, yes. What I think is so cool about what you get to do is this your first acting role, because you are a musician, so you already have a lot of talent, but it's your first acting role and you get to play twins. And in one of the scenes, you're going to have to decide, do I help my twin, save my twin? What is it like for you, and how do you prepare for both sides? Well, I mean, you know, when I got the call to audition for this, I was, I was working on my next album. And, uh, and I, I gave it my best, but I really didn't think, that why, would they, why would they, you know, why would they get someone who has no experience to play two leading roles? Um, Maybe because she's good. Thank you. <laughs> it was a shocker, but, mm -hmm. you know, the, the best way I took on myself to prepare these roles, prepare for these roles last minute was I started with my own duality, my masculine feminine side. Mm -hmm. And then and then I took from the script everything, all the details that could give me about what is each a character's mission and goal in life, their outlook on life, what is their obstacle and and and, and whatever they the script didn't provide I Filled in so the briefly blanks. describe yeah. what the two twins do. One is this and one is that. Just yeah, Hana, Hana Sung is the pilot and systems engineer mm -hmm. of Daedalus. And June is? June is the uh, communications, capsule of communications person, the, the lifeline, the first person they speak to yeah. at Mission Control. Um, and then she moves up the ladder. But. Um, John, it's not just about, too, this whole series about humans going to Mars. It's about colonizing Mars. I mean, how you live on Mars. What are some of the challenges that we'll face when and if this comes to be? Well, the, you know, Mars is a, a planet that's very much like Earth. Uh, it's a little smaller, but it has enough surface gravity that you can, you know, kind of walk on the surface. It has an atmosphere. Uh, but it's a thin atmosphere, so we're going to have to be in, in spacesuits. Slightly um, colder. And it's slightly colder, but it's, Loud but it's not, you know, people who live in Fairbanks have similar temperatures. It's not outrageously cold, especially if you're wearing a spacesuit. So this, this series shows you that, you know, we really could live on Mars in principle. It's not going to be a great life. People in Fairbanks in winter might say the same thing. Uh, but in terms of... Nothing against Fairbanks, if, of course. <laughs> nothing. I love, yeah. I love Alaska. I love Alaska. I spent a lot of time there yeah. because it's this harsh environment. Mm. People strive... Uh, for adversity. This is part of exploration. Mm -hmm. And, you know, right now we're one planet. Bad things can happen to the Earth in terms of, you know, millions and billions of years time scale. And so if we believe in human destiny, we're going to have to become a multi-planet species oh, someday. You say people and Mars strive is for the place. Adversity. You think uh, people strive for adversity? Oh, I, I do. I, do? I, I like to test myself. I like to Challenges. go places. Yeah. You too? Well, hey, I took on a role that I, on two roles. It was, a, it was scary, but a very exciting challenge. What, what did you learn about space? What I, I learned a lot about space. And, and, you know, one thing I learned was that, that, that this is real. The whole Mars mission, yeah. it's been planned and it's been, you know, they're sending, in 2018, they're sending, uh, SpaceX is sending uh, a Dragon on a manned ship and NASA is sending something 2020, is that right? Yeah, yeah 2020, we have uh, a new rover uh, that's actually going to grab samples and sometime in the 20s, we hope to bring those samples back to Earth to see if we see signs of life. Gail and John I strive for good food and sunshine. Yes, uh, that's it. And room <laughs> service. Yeah. You know, John has said that you want to go. Neil deGrasse Tyson said, I'll go when the guy who does a spaceship sends his mom up first. Yes. Thank you, John. Thank you, guys. Thank you, hey. So great to have you. Congrats.